welcome back to my channel so today we'll be talking about carry board or fiber carry board with the key so it has different use in shoemaking and also bags people who make bags use it a lot but i think they use the softer one yes so we're talking about um fiber carry board in our shoemaking material today now first thing first it is used for inner like inner for your insole as seen in the video now after doing that this is what you come out with so if you don't have local marco you can use your fiber and you will still get exactly what you want to get for your pair of easy weight more you must not sew it though so you can get what you want secondly we use it for heel carry board is used for heel and for shoes as well for the back stiff for front stiff yes we should use carry board for your shoes like see us lasting it now this is the carry board we use the fiber when you are you've placed it you file it before lasting yes so it is very very important in shoe making and we also use for covered welt work any welt work you see it is fiber you know fiber is very firm and it will give your shoe the firmness you need so it is very important in shoe making and also making of easy wears as seen in the video so when doing your welting work or a covered work yes or a wrapping work like this you need your fiber because marco can be very soft and it has a way of bending somehow but um fiber give it the stiffness it needs yes for your shoes or easy wear to be firm and it's not have to be bending somehow or going down after a while so this is an idea of a welted work yes this is how it comes out and it's the fiber that gives it the stiffness it wants yes and in making your heel you will need like plenty of this fiber because heel making is like making of fiber in your insole and in getting the middle of your sole in shoe making, you will need like three of it before you are able to even put your shank. You need like three of it. So fiber cannot be underestimated. Yes, it does a lot of, a lot, a lot of work. So you really need it. Some are soft while some are hard. So please take note. And in shoe making, I think we always use the hard one for shoemaking but some shoemakers i don't know they use a soft one for those who want to sew because when you attach this to your marker and wrap it to your leather it's going to be very very hard to sew yes so this is like an abash shoe and the person used a very soft fiber very 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 soft like over soft i don't know where the person got this fiber from but yes they used it and then um, someone bought it and before she could even use it self it had spoiled already yes so fiber is supposed to be like hard at least had a little not like this and some people who make bags usually use this soft fiber and it doesn't last at all that is the issue this soft fiber don't last i don't know maybe they have fake ones or what i don't know but they don't last at all so there was this bag i bought and it was wrapped with a local fiber or a caribou i don't know or a carton i don't know what they use but i didn't use the bag for a month is the, the the paper started removing so this bag you are seeing here was used with a strong fiber and like i told you the fiber gives it the the weight it needs it's able to stand well that's just the work of fiber in your shoes and in your bag it stands very very well fiber makes it stand very well that's it for um for bags yes you need fiber in making bags yes you really really need it. it's very important and this is how your fiber comes you make it like this and in wrapping your pulses too you need your fiber so fiber is very even in our foreign souls as seen in the video but most of i think foreign souls they use a soft fiber because if you use a strong fiber like the one you saw earlier on sewing can be very difficult but please don't buy a fake fiber yes and we also use fiber in making 
patterns yes so we use it for pattern making because it doesn't wear out quickly so that's it guys thank you for your time thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and i hope to see you in my next tutorial bye people